If there is any topic that people can really get in a bind about more than almost anything in music, it's this one. Music theory. This is going to be a doozy. So I get asked all the time if you need to know music theory to produce music. Should I learn theory? Is it required? How do I learn? And then there are the people who are so adamant that theory is pointless, that theory is dumb, that theory makes people snobs, and real music comes from the heart, and theory ruins creativity, and all this and that. Let me just start by saying this. Either extreme of this is wrong. But let's just rewind a bit first and actually make sure that we're talking about the same thing because music theory gets a really super negative rep. What is music theory? In short, music theory is an explanation of how music works. That's it. Now, if you want to make great music, do you think that knowing how music works is a good idea? I'd hope you'd say yes, you should know how music works, even at least a little bit. If you don't know a single thing about music, like anything, then how can you expect to make great music? Now, so you know where I'm coming from, a little bit of context, I have a degree in music composition, which is basically a degree in music theory, and I've spent about, well, two decades doing this music thing, so I feel pretty qualified to talk about this. Most people would assume that I am a huge advocate for music theory and educating the worldness of the greatness of theory and all this and that, but 90% of what colleges teach in theory is basically entirely pointless. Probably not what you were expecting me to say but it's true. Learning how fully diminished seventh chords can resolve 12 different ways is cool, and the geek inside of me loves it, but when am I actually going to use that in a practical sense with the kind of music that I'm making? Probably never. Learning how matrix-based music works, and atonal music, and mathematical music works is cool, and the geek inside of me kind of loves it, but when will I actually use that? Never. Like, like never, ever. Never. So here's the thing, I think that the main problem people have with music theory is actually not music theory in itself, but it's instead the way in which music theory is taught. If you think music theory is this sterile scientific mathematical equation that's void of all creativity, then I can understand why it would leave a bad taste in your mouth. And sadly, most universities teach theory like this. Now, in all fairness, I had some theory teachers who actually did a really good job making theory musical, and I appreciate that about them. But most music theory teachers don't. Let's just be totally honest. Most colleges teach you theory as if it's a math prerequisite, and it's actually really hard for most people. But I wanna reframe this a bit and recontextualize this for you. And I want to explain what music theory means to me, what I believe music theory should be, and how it should be taught. Here's my definition and how I think of it. Music theory is an explanation of what we know about music, how it works, and how we as creatives can wield it to create beautiful music. Now, I want to just change the vocabulary a little bit. Let's stop saying music theory, and let's just start saying instead how music works. I think that's something most of us can get behind. Even the anti-theory people would probably find it good to know how to play chords, right? Like how to make melodies, how to play chord progressions, what chord progressions sound good, and what ways we can get creative with them, yeah? It's just that the way we get there and the way we teach it are different. When theory is made into a math problem instead of a creative solution, then yes, I think it is void of creativity. It's being taught in a way where there is no relevance to real life or to the real world of creative arts other than just knowing a thing or two. But if instead someone was saying, look, if you play a C major chord and then play a G major chord right after it, can you hear how that G major chord has a level of tension that wants to resolve back to the C major chord? Like, wow, I think that's actually really helpful to know. Do you hear what I'm talking about? Because that is something you can actually use. You can, you can use that in your music. Or what about understanding intervals through the lens of tension and release instead of memorizing the number of half steps between a major or minor third as if that's the important thing? My belief is that if you learn how music works, you will have a massive advantage as a producer or songwriter, period. Learning how these things work doesn't take away creativity. I'm living proof of this. When I started music, I was classically trained as a pianist. I never learned how to make music myself. Instead, I was taught how to read and play classical music, and I got really good at it at a very young age. But I had zero capability of writing music or creating my own. I had no clue how, and it really frustrated me for several years. All I knew how to do was play what was written in front of me. That's it. Until my parents found a teacher who was a songwriter, and he taught me, wait for it, theory. 
except it was the theory like I've described, through the lens of just saying, this is how music works. The focus was creativity, the focus was playing, the focus was learning and understanding how to take that knowledge and apply it into real music, not answering questions on a test. It was about understanding how scales are actually used in music instead of just memorizing scales like a warm-up, like I used to. It was about understanding how all of music is made up of chords and melodies and scales. It's just I didn't understand how that was actually done before or how to do it myself. Instead, I was only able to play what others had created. Ironically, what others had creative using those same things. Had I never learned from him, I would not be here today. I would not be a songwriter or a producer, period. End of story. I am the proof that if you are like, I have no clue how to make music, you can learn this. It is learnable. It is teachable. Now again, if you've had the experience of going and taking theory classes and then being like, whoa, this is horrible, again, I can understand the frustration and the bad taste in your mouth because it was taught in a terrible way. So is all of this easy? Of course not. Nothing that's worth doing is, but it's the best thing that I ever did in my life. Don't, don't tell my wife I said that. Marrying her was the best thing I ever did in my life. Eight years and going strong. Anyways, my point is that music theory is this horribly misunderstood subject because the subject itself is not evil. The problem is that there are conflicts in how it's taught and what is actually useful in the kind of music that you want to create. See, again, theory is nothing more than an explanation, an articulation of what works and what doesn't and what things we know about music. For example, I can tell you, without even sitting on my piano, I can tell you that if I play a C over an F sharp, it's gonna sound super dissonant. Watch. because that's a tritone and that's just how music works. I can tell you that if I play a C major chord, C, E, G, and then play that same chord over an F in the left hand in the bass, it's gonna be a very colorful chord. It's gonna be really pretty. See what I mean? And I didn't have to guess that. I couldn't just tell you that because I know this to be true. I also know that if I play a C major chord followed by a B flat major chord, it's gonna give a happy and spry emotion like this. How do I know that? It's because I understand how music works. Is that making me uncreative, that's like saying architects aren't creative because they have to use math to make their blueprints. It's kind of ridiculous. Math is the guide that enables the architect to know how to be creative. Without knowing the math first, then how can an architect know how to make a beautiful building without it collapsing? And I'd hope that we can agree it's a good thing that architects learn math, right? That is the point of theory, in my opinion. It should not be about random memorization. It should be about understanding how music works in a way that can be wielded and used in a creative purpose, like an architect has the ability to use math in order to wield that for the ability to create you know, beautiful designs. I believe that learning how music works is the most valuable skill you could possibly have as a musician. Regardless of whether you're a songwriter, producer, pianist, guitarist, or even a drummer, learning how music works, learning how to wield its tools is powerful. It's powerful because when you understand how it works, you can use it. I know exactly how to make something more emotional or happy or sad or curious because I understand how music works because I spent over two decades of my life doing this. So for those who are anti-theory people watching this, I'd encourage you to rethink your position and ask yourself what you really despise about theory because my guess is that you aren't actually against learning how music works. You're just against the method. And to those who wanna know if you should learn it, the answer is yes but the right way, the way in which you are learning how music works, not just a bunch of random facts you'll never use. I appreciated my college education for what I learned in theory because it's something I can geek out on and I actually find it really fascinating, but simultaneously, I believe that the majority of it was completely unnecessary after the first two, maybe three semesters. It becomes pretty pointless from a purely practical standpoint of being a professional musician today. And I'm also not saying that if you don't know theory, you can't do music. I wanna be very, very clear about that. Of course, there are plenty of people who don't know theory who have an amazing talent for music. And I think that's a wonderful thing. But what I'm saying is if you can couple that natural talent with an actual understanding of music, I can just, I promise you, it will make you that much better. While I don't have any videos on my channel teaching this, I do have a new course called Chord Chart Pianos, which teaches this in the context of using piano, which I think is the best way to learn it. You can check that out right over here. Otherwise, I hope you got some value from hearing my perspective on this. We'll talk soon.